Hey Cancers, welcome to Tyrone Hill. Welcome to your February bi-monthly reading. I hope all is well, guys. All right, let's get started. Um, oh, I'll start off with this. So when I was meditating on your energy, I actually saw a hawk flying in the, in the sky, like soaring. Um, but they were holding like twigs. It was like they were bringing twigs home. Um, I don't know if this is the energy of someone nesting or bringing home the bacon. It has this. It had this energy of one nesting um also someone being afraid of heights it was it was kind of exciting but also it, it was it had a tinge of nervousness to it like someone's moving up a level and i feel like they're moving up a level with someone else um and it's just that excitement of like shacking up with someone you know for the first time or you know taking a relationship up to a level that they haven't before you know all right, I come to you humbly thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light and divine love in accordance with your divine will. What is it that the Cancer Collective needs to know for the first half of February? What do they need to know? Address your addictions came out here. All right, we'll see why that came out later on. What else do we have to say? Okay, forgive and forget. Holy cow. What else is going on? Anything else? Ask with sincerity. Is this lighting okay? Yeah, I guess it's fine. All right. That was a mouthful. Let's see what, what's going on here. Address your addictions. Forgive and forget. So I feel like somebody's course correcting. They're, they're recognizing their mistakes and um, correcting them right now. Let's see what's going on. All right, let's talk about the Cancer Energy for the first half of February. Thank you. Okay, we're starting off with the Three of Swords here. All right, the Three of Swords is an energy of heartbreak. All right, disappointment, heartbreak. That's a Libra energy there. All right, now we have the Seven of Pentacles here. Um, the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. This is an energy of needing to look back and reassess, all right? After you look back and reassess, there's no looking back, okay? So somebody might be holding on to the resentment of a heartbreak or a disappointment, and maybe that's why Forgive and Forget is coming out here, all right? Someone just can't get over it. We do have the Seven of Cups here. I feel like because you can't get over it, this could be you or someone else. Keep that in mind. And just choose what resonates and drop the rest, okay? Well, the Seven of Cups here is some type of illusions and confusions here, all right? Um, somebody might, because they're so, somebody might be so resentful that they're, they're um, kind of blinded by that and not seeing with clarity or thinking with clarity. We do have, yeah, we have the Ten of um, Swords here. That betrayal is coming out. Along with the King of Swords, yeah. Betrayal and mental, um, lack of mental clarity. That King of Swords is a, is not being too clear because the King of Swords is usually very clear in their thinking. They know exactly what they need to do. They're strategic. It's coming out in reverse and that is centering the reading here, all right? So it's somebody's mindset, someone's being blinded by their pain and resentment, and it's stopping them from moving forward. We do have the Ace of Pentacles here, all right? The Ace of Pentacles is a window of opportunity coming your way, all right? Now, this could be a job. You know, it could be an, a window of opportunity for a job or or love, of course, all right? Let's see what else. Oh, we have a Temperance card coming out, Knight of Cups, all right? Along with the Six of Cups here. How did that end with the Ace of Wands? Now we have two Aces in reverse here. The Temperance card in reverse. All right. See, your intuition's trying to tell you something. You're not hearing it because you're um, you might be too caught up in your emotions right now. We do have the Six of Cups here. This is an energy of reconciliation of past um, memory. This could be childhood memories. All right. But this can also this is just indicating like a soul tie of some sort, a karma tie. We do have the Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Cups is a proposal, an offer of some sort, a love offer of some sort. It can also be um, a very romantic, dreamy type of energy. It could be going for your dream career-wise we do have the ace of wands in reverse this is another opportunity a seed of passion that's not quite coming through for some reason and i do feel like someone has to page of cups at the bottom of the deck i do feel like someone has to let go of whatever resentment they had um, because that is definitely blocking their blessings someone's being caught up by the distractions it's distracting their energy it's stopping them from seeing the truth okay yeah 
We have distractions and then we have the real deal. We have this lucky energy here, okay? You're not seeing the lucky energy because you're caught up in these distractions. Hmm. We have the moon card coming out. You might not realize how much you're being caught up, how much it's a... Uh... How much is affecting you? We do have the intuition card here coming out with the moon. I feel like there's a lot of intuitive hits that's happening here in regards to this betrayal. Um, and you might be trying to process that, okay? Tell me more about this three of swords. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this heartbreak is actually holding you back. Do we have to go more in depth with this? I don't know. Why is this ace of wands here? Yeah, all right, so it's time to move on. This Ace of Wands is coming out, being clarified by the ship and then the um, the letter here. All right, there's some communication, some closure that needs to be had so that you can finally move on from this. All right, that's what's happening. Let's see, what is it that you're failing to see in this situation? Let's see, what are the blockages? What are you failing to see? And what is the overall outcome if you continue on this path? Now, I don't know if this is a, a romantic reading or not. Let's see. Let's see. What are they failing to see? Even if this might pertain to a romantic uh, reading, um, I feel like this is more of an internal thing that needs to happen. What are they failing to see? What is the Cancer Collective failing to see here? Keep in mind if this is vice versa, someone could be feeling this way about you, all right? Five of arrows, okay, once again with this defeatist energy, all right, it's time to drop that. Someone's not realizing that this is actually causing them to be um, a bit of a negative Nancy, all right? What else are they failing to see? What else are they failing to see here? <laughs> that was a lot. All right. Ten of Pentacles here in reverse. Judgment card in reverse. The Chariot in reverse and the Eight of Cups. God, Jesus Christ. Bottom of the deck, we do have the Tower. All right. So we have the Ten of Pentacles coming through. This is just um, piggybacking on that energy of the, the Ace of Wands and the... Um, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, whatever the opportunity is for security, you just feel like it didn't work out. Um, it has you a little bit defeated, has you in this negative Nancy mode, all right? But you're failing to make a judgment call to move on here, and it's stopping you. It's stagnating you, all right? We do have the Chariot here, along with the Eight of Cups. The Chariot is about moving forward. It's coming out in reverse. You're not moving forward because you're not moving on. This Eight of Cups energy is about moving on from something that's already established. So let's say you had a disappointment at a job or a in, in your relationship and it's just time to get over that hump so that you can move on to the next stage um that next stage is your full um uh, um attainment or security or uh fulfillment that was the word i was looking for all right it will be a tower moment all right um for some of you guys this disappointment was a tower moment it's something that crumbled um it's something that shook you at your core all right let's see what are the blockages here I feel like the blockage is a heartbreak that's like kind of stopping you from moving forward. But it's, you know, just take time to heal. I don't want this whole reading to be like, well, you're heartbroken. Get over it. All right. But that's pretty much the message here. Take your time to heal. Forgive and forget. I don't know how long somebody's been holding a grudge. Oh, see, look at that. Thank you for the confirmation, spirit. It's three of arrows. Okay. The three of arrows is once again, the heartbreak card. That card already came out here. All right. Um, let's see if we can find it. Yeah, it was this card that just came out. So we're getting double confirmation here. Somebody's very disappointed. Someone's very disappointed. It came out early, it's coming out again. This is your blockage. This heartbreak, this disappointment, you can't get over it. Someone's holding a grudge. All right. What is the outcome if they continue on this path? What's the outcome if they continue on this path? Oh, that was a lot. But the Two of Cups and the Ace of Stones came out. Okay, so it seems as if, you know, you get over this heartbreak and it opens up a new opportunity. It's actually, it's blocking you. Okay. So, oh, geez, they really want to talk. All right. Ten of Arrows came out along with the moon, along with the Nine of Arrows and the Queen of Branches. I feel like if you keep holding on, harboring this negativity, harboring this 
this heartbreak here it's going to cause you to be defensive it's going to show up in like weird ways it might make you um yeah it might other people might pay for this you know that it shouldn't pay for this you know whoever is the one that hurt you they not saying that they should pay but someone who doesn't who has nothing to do with it they definitely shouldn't right but it seems like that's what's going to happen you'll be defensive and holding up holding this burden rather than forgiving letting go it's not forgiving for them it's forgiving for you for your own um mental clarity for your own emotional cl clarity and healing all right what's that advice oh gosh why are these cards just coming out like water? We have the three of wands here. This is about moving forward. It might be a long road ahead, okay? We have two threes out here. It's about expansion. It's about growth right now. We do have the five of stones with the hyphen and the hermit, okay? So yes, with the five of stones and the hyphen here, I do feel like someone's feeling like they lost something, all right? They're feeling like they lost something and it's some a commitment that was broken with the Hierophant card here. All right, the Hierophant in reverse, this could be a long-term situation. This could be a contract. Um, so this could be a job or like a marriage or long-term relationship, romantic relationship, okay? This can also be breaking away from family. All right, someone just feels like they lost out on something and they're gonna, it, it will be a long road ahead to making, um to getting to the other side of this. All right, but it's fine. You have to start the healing process here. All right, we do have the Hermit card coming out. All right, there's a need to actually step in be introspective look your wounds you know the hermit this is a, the energy of the cancer being a hermit all right so it's time to step step into your crab shell all right just do what you have to do heal and um so you can move forward here because a new opportunity is coming out on the horizon all right something to consider here why is this judgment card here take a time to be logical about this all right. I know it seems like someone's um, definitely more in their heart space, more in their feelings than anything else. But I feel like okay. I feel like it's time to hmm. there might be it might be a time to have like a heart to heart conversation, whether it's with yourself or the other person. All right. I feel like both parties might have played a role in this heartbreak. I don't. You probably don't want to hear that, but, you know, it, it, it's something worth taking a look at, you know, so that you can move forward with compassion, all right? That might help to to heal you a little bit quicker, help you to um, face your emotions. You know, it's kind of easy for you to get into that mode of like, oh, they're the bad guy, but it takes two to tango, you know? And I feel like with this magnifying glass, there's something to really take a closer look at here so that you can make that judgment call, all right? Why are these cards coming out so crazy? We do have the woman coming out with the um, with the polar bear. I feel like whoever this energy is, they are trying to persevere through the heartbreak. But I feel like the, that's not the best move. The move is to actually step back, heal yourself so that so that you can move forward without a grudge. Okay, there's a difference between um, being hurt and saying, no, but I'm fine, whatever, moving on, you know, and then then the opposite would be, the alternative would be like, okay, I'm facing my feelings. I am hurt about this. Let me actually deal with this. Let me focus on what went wrong here. All right. What did I play a role in this and holding yourself accountable, holding them accountable and doing that healing in a healthy way. All right. All right. Let's get the overall power animal advice here. Let's see what the power animal is to harness. I'm definitely, um, whoever I'm resonating with here, I do feel sorry that this is happening. It does seem like there was, um, in the previous readings, it seemed like things were on the up and up. I don't know if this is the same collective or not. All right, what's the power animal for the Cancer Energy? What power animal can they harness for the first half of February? What power animal can they harness? Okay, thank you. We do have bad spirit. A rebirth is assured. All right, so someone had some foundation that crumbled, but it's it's for your for your rebirth. It's so you can build on solid ground. Okay. I don't know who's the one doing the heartbreak. If it was you or the other person. All right. If it's you that did the heartbreak, then it's time to ask for forgiveness and have that heart to talk, heart to heart talk. If it's you that were that was heartbroken, it's time to speak up on how you feel about the situation and let them know how you feel. 
Okay, let them know how you feel so you can move on. Um, do it gracefully, though. All right, so Turkey Spirit definitely came out. Give with grace and gratitude. Um, usually this comes out when someone's like really hurt. Ooh really hurt and really heartbroken because it's just making sure that you use your words wisely if you're hurt it doesn't mean that you have to you know curse someone out just really try to have a, a a mature adult conversation a mature heart to heart with this person hey why'd you do this and just try to get to the bottom of it if you can obviously if they're not that type of person you know you still move with grace and class all right this is a card of moving with grace and class all right scarab beetle magic works through you okay so at the end of this healing there is a new opportunity opening up so don't hold that resentment in your heart here okay i'm definitely getting that feeling of holding like a grudge even if you moved on from them it's just like this grudge is is, is affect it will affect other people that has nothing to do with that so here we go this is the name of the game this is a the theme of the entire reading time to heal all right, time to heal snake spirit here. Um, I do want to address the fact that address your addictions came out. I feel like some of you guys might have an emotional addiction here, all right? And that might have played a role in why things played out the way they did, all right? So that's something to be mindful of. Um, so if that's the case, if that resonates with you, if you have like a, if there's a sex addiction or emotional addiction where there's a codependency, for example, it's time to address that. So this type of situation doesn't happen again. If that resonates with you, then that was a little gem there. All right. Oh. All right. Well, Cancer, I, I really hope this resonated with you. I hope that you received some insight here. <clears throat> Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment. Also, add me on IG. That is Tarot and Heal. Check the info box below. I do personal readings if you want more insight into this. All right, until we meet again, peace.